Gang, it's Jeff from Photo Finish Restorations, and on this episode of Muscle Cars and Hot Rods, we're back on Cindy's 1968 Chevrolet Camaro. Uh, let's get you caught up on some of the stuff we did yesterday and what we're about to do today. Well, first off, yesterday we went ahead and sprayed all our interior and dash pieces, the pearl white. That's the same pearl white from the stripes on the car. You can see we've got the car all masked off and uh, went ahead and shot the pearl white. Now, it's undecided yet, but we were originally going to put some flat clear out here to kind of frost this out to minimize the amount of reflection up on the windshield while you're driving. But that gloss clear looks so good, at, especially after it's cut and buffed, that we're thinking maybe we'll just make a pad for when you're driving and then you pull it off during a car show. Uh, now, the plan for the day is to get the sound deadener shot on the interior of the car. Of course, you remember we had it all sandblasted, epoxy primed, and this morning I went through and scuffed it all down with some 80 grit. And then in all the little corners I couldn't get to, I hit it with a red scotch bright. We'll get in the doors, in the quarter panels, up on the roof, and everything. I'll still mask off these panels in the back here. Those will get wrapped with the leather from the interior. And then of course we'll mask off our dash that we just got done. First thing on the docket, we're going to shoot a little seam sealer down. Okay, now the seam sealer we're going to use is made by Lord Fuser, and um, its part number is 800EZ, which is a factory matching urethane sealer and adhesive. Uh, this is just a single one part. We just recently switched to Lord Fuser from Norton, and we're loving it. We're having a good time with it. But basically what we're going to do is go through and reinforce all the factory seam sealer, making sure that we're good on that. And then as well, up in here, we'll go through, I've knocked off all the loose seam sealer, and we'll just go through and uh, put all our new seam sealer in, make sure that we're good and sealed so that when we put our carpet down, there won't be any chance of uh, water getting up in there, soaking into the pad and rusting out the floors. Okay, here we are, just spreading it through, and then I go over it with an acid brush just after. It's a one part epoxy, and I'll just come down the seam here. And then I just like to go through and make sure we make all our good contact. It doesn't have to be too beautiful. I mean, you don't want it to look sloppy, but on the same hand, it's all covered. You just want it to do its job. There it is. So more of the same, finishing up our seals and we'll be ready for that sound deadener we like to spray down. Okay, seam sealer's all laid and this is the quick set. I believe it says it's paintable within one hour. So we are all set in here. We've masked off our remaining masking including the dash and let's take a look at our product that we're using over here you've seen me spray it before if you've been watching the show for any any time we've got second skin noise and heat insulation the product is spectrum this is good for noise and vibration it's a water-based automotive sound deadening um, I shoot it through this rocker Schutz gun which I've used repeatedly keep it clean it should last good I usually get a couple bottles going when I fill it up and uh, we'll go ahead and show you the first coat so you can see how it's applied but then generally I'll put a good few coats we usually buy the five gallon and basically on a car this size a muscle car we'll use the whole thing because we'll do the entire inside including the roof doors up under the dash on the firewall in the quarters, all that. But then, as you can see, I've got it masked off so that all I've got to do is put it up on the lift, drop the suspension, and I'll be able to do, from the bottom side, of course, all the way back. So we'll get all suited up because this stuff shoots on rather violently. That rocker shoots gun, as you know, is a cannon. Uh, 
get that done. I'll put a little bit of masking on the booth walls because I don't want to get them all dirtied up. And uh, we're ready to go. Okay, here we go. This is in general what it looks like. Okay, now you can see we've got the car up in the air and we have dropped the suspension. And when right at this point, we're going to take the time to remove and clean up all our slime, which we've done right over here on the uh, rear diff. And it looks like everything did its job pretty well. But up under the car, you can see we've got it fully masked and ready for our undercoating. And then uh, what I've gone through and done now is brushed down a coat of epoxy where we sectioned in our wheelhouse and over our welds, of course after I scuffed it, but over our welds where we welded our quarter panels on, where we corrected our RS lights from the original, or not the original, but the uh, restoration shop before us. And uh, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and scuff it all down and get it ready for some sound in there. All right guys, car is masked and all seam sealed up. And we're getting our concoction in the gun. It's pretty thick. This is horrible. This batch is much thicker than normal. I don't think so. I think it's about the same. I don't remember it being so I don't so care thick. what you remember. I think it's the same. Okay, guys. Here we are with the sound deadener all installed. And you can hear how the sound is dead to me. Real nice and muted. What? Can you hear me? No. Can you hear me now? Uh, so, we get the fun task of putting all the brand new, well, newly refurbished, restored, fancy stuff on the car. We've got our strange 9 inch all cleaned up with our stock suspension, which will need to be lowered. And then we've got our powder coated front end fairly clean. Looks like I got a little scrubbing to do in here. But, uh, yeah. That slime really worked pretty well. Especially orange is like one of the nasty colors for overspray. Okay, now Cindy's officially way ahead of Chris and I and we're not happy about that. But, next thing to do on her car is, uh, color sand and buff. So, We'll try to get a couple videos up of that thing. Um, the black came out nice. We got all our suspension all cleaned up. You saw that. Put it in the car, squared it up. I just set the fenders on to get them off the stand. Same with the cowl. And uh, yeah, we'll mask this thing up. Start color sanding and buffing it. But uh, there's the sound deadener. All sprayed in up on the roof, down under the car, in the wheel tubs. I just texted her a picture of her car and she's like, yeah, we gotta do something with those wheels and uh, tires and then uh, suspension needs to come down. And we're, uh, we're doing a lot of suspension modifications on Chris's Project Wheezy and uh, we're noticing that the uh, suspension can come down a good seven inches on these Camaros from stock. At least that's where we're liking them. So, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to catch us on the next one. Till then, adios.